Welcome back to JG Garage. In this video, I'll be trying out and reviewing this portable air compressor that I got from Amazon, which is linked down below in the description. This is the Carson Smart Tire Inflator and the model number is C1808-1. I bought this for around $19 and the reason I got it is because my old tire pump just stopped working. And I always like to have a tire pump in the car just in case my tire gets soft while on the road or someone else's tire and I can just help them out. Alright, so upon opening the box, it looks like everything is inside a bag. We actually didn't know that it came with a bag, but it's nice to have so I can easily store it in the trunk. Alright, so my first impression so far is how light this feels. This is so much lighter than my old tire pump. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's definitely light. Okay, so here we have the tire pump and the whole thing is pretty much made of plastic because this tire pump weighs close to nothing. I hope it works well. So on the front, there are six buttons. S for set, plus and minus, this one for the light, the power switch, and M for mode. On the back side, there's some slots for some attachments and for the hose itself. And what I like about this is that it has a locking air chuck, unlike my old one where I have to screw it onto the valve stem, which is very annoying. I also like how the hose has its own storage slot, instead of just being all over the place. So here is just a design with no vent holes. No holes here either, it's just some fake vents. I wonder how it vents the heat since these pumps do get hot when it's running. Underneath here, it has the power cord. And this end plugs into the hole right here. And on the other end is this plug, which plugs into your 12 volt socket inside the car. So let's see what else is in here. So we have the user manual. It also comes with various attachments accessories. Okay, so in the bag there are three replacement fuses that goes inside this plug for when it burns out. They also included four valve stem covers. And there's another bag with more attachments. This one is for balls like basketballs for example. Also there's another fuse so there's actually four in total. And also there's this one, which I'm not exactly sure what it's for. And this attachment, which you can use for swimming inflatables or inflatable beds. So I'm not really sure what this is for. If you know, please let me know in the comments down below. To use a needle attachment, you just insert it into the air chuck and lock it and now you're ready to inflate. So the last thing inside the bag is just this warranty card. Okay, so now let me try to put these attachments in these slots. The rest, I'll just put them inside the small bag and leave it inside the carrying case. So let me try to put everything back in the bag and now let's try it out. Okay, so I'll be trying it out on this tire. So first, I'm going to remove the valve stem cap. Then I'm going to take a measurement of the tire pressure.
Okay, it looks like it's about 33 PSI. I'm going to try it again just to make sure. Okay, so that is 33 PSI. Now I'm going to use this to let the air out. Now it's about 24 PSI. Let's keep going to around 20 PSI. So now it's about 22 PSI. Around 21 to 22 PSI. And as you can see down here, the tire is somewhat flat now. Okay, so first thing is to remove this hose and take the cord out. Let me take this off. Plug in the cord. And this side plugs inside the car. So find a 12 volt outlet and plug it in. Now make sure the car is running when using the tire pump. Okay, so here it's showing bicycle, so I have to press mode to change it. So that's SUV, ball, bike, motorcycle, car, and SUV. So let's put it to car. Now to change the units, press S and I want to set it to PSI. So I'm gonna set it to 35 PSI. Actually, I normally like to add one more PSI for when I remove the air chuck, which sometimes releases some air. So I'll do 36 PSI. Also, this comes with a light, which is helpful at night. It also has a strobe and flashing mode. Okay, so just push it in and lock it like that. Here you can see it says 21 PSI, which is about the same as what the tire gauge showed. Now let's turn it on. So this tire is definitely louder than my old one. Once it reaches 36 PSI, it automatically turns off. So from 21 PSI to 36 PSI, it took about a little over 3 minutes for 12 PSI. Alright, so now let's check how it feels. I'm not actually feeling anything hot, which I'm quite surprised about. It's definitely loud, but at least it doesn't get hot. Okay, with this driver's side tire, I'm just going to check the tire pressure and fill it to 36 PSI and see how long it takes. It's about 32 PSI, so let's see how long it takes to pump to 36 PSI. The pump says it's currently 33 PSI, so it just needs to fill 3 more PSI. Okay, so it took about 40 seconds to get to 36 PSI, which isn't so bad. So my final thoughts on this air compressor is that it's a very light unit, which isn't bad. However, it is quite loud and vibrates a lot, but overall it does its job and pumps the tire with no issue. I like how it automatically stops at the PSI you set it at, which prevents you from overinflating. The display is nice, and the LED is pretty good and nice to have. Link to this tire pump is in the description down below. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.